Hi guys, welcome back. This is Susan and this is the second part of our color mixing. And I will show you how to put these colors on a canvas. The canvas I'm going to use is a three quarter inch deep and 12 by 12 in size. I've already started slapping on some color. So I'm using up what's on the palette, what's left over from our mixing um, class. And just start spreading it around at random. And uh, you don't have to have anything in mind. I'm flipping it over because uh, the back, it was kind of loose when I was painting on it. And I'm just explaining here how if you spray the back ahead of time and let it dry, it tightens the canvas. So here we're going to go into the next part. Making scribbles, loosening up, filling in some spots. Uh, let's see, how about some magenta? Ooh, yeah. Make some marks. Yeah, these are the cheap canvases I bought, and um, as you can see, it's very springy. But they're great for just messing around on. The price is right. All right, let's get some of this. Ooh, there's that color. It's this part here, doing it like this, but just scribble, you know, have fun. Don't even think about, like, when I do an abstract, I don't even think about the end product. I just start playing with the colors and uh, doing my thing. Let's see, how are we doing here? It's hard to get the edge on there. All right. It's a painting. <laughs> All right. I paint your sides. This is a wrapped canvas, so you have to paint your sides because sometimes people like to hang them without framing them and they just look, they look pretty. So I'm just doing the edges and I'm picking up whatever color. I'm not thinking about it. I'm not thinking about, you know, this has got to go with that yet. This is playtime right now, right this moment, using up all the stuff that's on my palette that we just mixed. There we go. Okay, let's get some. Ooh, my white's getting globby. Uh, that's that. Let's use up this red. Okay, and I'm going to throw some white on top of that. I'm just using a same brush I used to uh, make the samples. All right, I think we need some more blue in there. Ooh, there we go. All right, now let's see. I have a sponge brush and let's try smoothing that out what we get and then we can add some definitive marks on top of that so I'm just this is my cheat the smoothing when I'm further into the painting I use a mop brush but these guys are like a buck a piece you can't go wrong I highly recommend these do all kinds of things and then if you ruin it you don't care I've been looking at the prices of good brushes lately, and ouch. I don't know who can afford those. All right, there we go. We got a big old mess right there. Let's uh, do my edges, go in and clean them up. There we go. That's 
looks kind of cool. And then here's another one I did just with the leftover paint. Okay. I like to do have uh, extra paint uh, painting going on the side because then when I have the extra paint left over, which I do quite often, I can use it and just slap it on there. Okay. Put my palette over here and uh, let's see what we got going. Keep your paper towels around. Uh, you can always use paper towels. All right. We'll focus on the big, the big pink first. Let's get some marks down. I think I need some more dark colors up there. All right. My colors have been drying. Okay, I'm just kind of messing up all kinds of color right now. This and that, using this little brush. Makes interesting shapes. <clears throat> Lots of pink. Lots of pink on my canvas. All right. Okay. At varying, uh, varying amounts. Let's see. So there's that color there. You see that? And let's do a little uh, bit of line work here. Mess it around so we got our black on there. Um, it's for good contrast. So it's kind of a blue-black. There we go. And I'm just going at random here, random spots. Don't want to have any of that bare white canvas showing through. So let's kind of cover those up a bit. All right. I gotta spray some water on here on my colors to keep them wet. All right. Yeah, that's very blue. Okay, I'm gonna add a little bit more quinacridone and some more blue in there. And that makes it more purple. There we go. So your purples, your blues are your cool colors. Your green is a cool color, and yellow is a can be either or, depending on the type of yellow. So here, where it's a little bit more watered down, see it's more purple. I'm going to add a bit more yellow to this and see what we come up with. There's the blue in there. It's, uh, let's see, see the hints of yellow in there. Okay, so we're just kind of... Okay. This looks like a mess. It's what you call the ugly stage. I'm going to do this like this. Got a big hunk of the black there. Okay, this is my bottled water. Nothing special. And I'm going to all right. There's a lot of stuff going on on here, and I think it needs some light. So let's go into the white. And let's go here, here, uh, 
to my orangey color. All right. Put some white in there. It's like a, I don't know what it is. Okay, we got another color. So that was mixing the magenta and white and lots of yellow. Okay, I'm going to do my ends. Just, grab, just making lines, making shapes. Okay. Ooh. What are we going to do here? It's an interesting color. I kind of like it. Let's do... This. this is white with a tiny bit of quinacridone red. All right, there we go. So I'm just using what I have on my palette. Kind of mixing it all together. I can see it here. Have lots of white and there's the black we made I'll mix it in with the white and let's see there, there 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 put some lines I'm using a flat brush a small black flat brush it's a size oop six okay I like the shapes that it makes. All kinds of funny things. It's all layers. So uh, if you're looking at your painting going, oh my gosh, this is so awful, it gets better. We're just putting down lots of marks that will show up afterwards. And here's a bit darker. This is more of a blue with some white in it. Okay. Just using up some of that yummy orange that's on here. And you can see how I got some other colors mix. Just go around in circles. They're not perfect. Abstracts do not have to be perfect. been a few months for me since I painted an abstract. I've been doing mostly portrait painting.
Hmm. And so layering down your dots or any kind of design, I put in a light color like white. This happens to be a white with a bit of pink in it. Um, you can always go over top of it with another color. So I could come back in with magenta, straight magenta, and it would be transparent, so it would look really pretty over top of the white. But we gotta wait for it to dry first. All right, so I'm using the uh, round brush still, making some shapes. I need some stuff here. Okay. That's all right. All right. This needs something. And something in here too. And you can go on top of the, the marks you've already made and make another mark in a different color. Plus, once they're dry. Okay, this is a wild one for sure. All right, I'm mixing up. Let's see. Let's get some red in there. Hmm. Okay. this blue see what we come up with so it's a bit of dirty blue mm -mm. okay I was looking to see if I had a color wheel but I don't have one handy Okay, so here's some more dirty color over here. Let's see what we can mix up. We've got lots of marks on here. Mixing some white with the pink, and then it's got bits of blue in it. Uh-huh. This is square. What do we got here? This is uh, some yellow and the orange. Hmm. It's kind of an odd bunch of colors. Alrighty. Yeah, just kind of blend that in a little bit. I like that. And then look it up. Just using up my color that I have. And I'm not co covering every bit, like leaf patches and peekaboos. We don't want to cover up every mark. All right, 
next I'm going to do the same thing, use up some of this pink, and uh, let's do it right here. Okay. And do my edges. All right, and get some of that pink in the center somewhere. Put it all together. Okay, let's go like here. And we'll just kind of blend it in. I'm gonna get a bigger brush. A little bit bigger. Okay, let's get in here and bring that over. I usually do this on large canvases and I use brushes that are this size. <laughs> Big difference. It's not often I make these small paintings. But it's a good way to try out all different uh, techniques and uh, mark making. Okay, get some of this spread around. And see how we are getting some of the colors that are underneath and the marks that are underneath are peeking through. There we go. Makes it interesting. Hmm. I think I want to make like a gray blue. Let's see. Let's see what we can come up with here. So I'm using the ultramarine mix that I made before, and I'm mixing it with a whole lot of white. Yeah. And it's kind of a gray blue. Okay, let's go here. Cover up some of that canvas that's showing. And then we can go back in and put more marks in after the fact. <laughs> Acrylics are great because they're so forgiving. You can just go right over top of them. And if you absolutely hate what you've painted, just go over the whole thing with gesso and start again. Then it's a upcycled canvas. All right. Now see how we've got all this character going on here. Way fun. All right, I'm gonna take a couple of reds, mix them together. Let's see what we get here. I don't know. If you're watching this, you're probably cringing. Let me know in the comments. And if you're enjoying uh, watching me make a mess, um, subscribe. Hey, yay. I need all the subscribers I can get at this point. Okay, here we go. Well, it certainly changed personalities, hasn't it? Uh, now it's it's very pink. Uh, I'm just going over the parts that have uh, canvas showing. 
let's get rid of those canvas peeking through. Let me see it there and there. Oh, and some there. Let's get that. Okay. And yes, I do talk to myself a lot when I'm painting. So it's great having a camera on because then I feel like I'm talking to somebody other than me. Do you do that? Okay. All right. It is bizarre, guys. Can you see that? Wow. All right. I'm going over that. This is that pale, pale blue. Ready. I think I'm going to take some of the pale blue, go back over this here. Boy, is that a mess. Hoo -hoo. Even for me. I'm just going to wing it. I'm going to stop, maybe, see if I can do something with it, put some shapes on there. Okay, so remember in the beginning it was mostly purples and, uh, what was it? Purples and pinks. Gosh, now I've completely forgotten. So here we are. It's changing. Changing. Change is good. Change is good. We all fight it, but in the long run, change is good. Okay, I'm just... Monkeying around here, making a mess. Get some on the side. Let me get a bigger brush. Here we go. And I'm blending. I think I'm going to take these home, well, this one anyways, 
and sit in front of the TV with the Posca pens. Let's see if I can do something with it. Okay. Remember all those marks we made? Yeah, they're gone. All right. 